Hi, thank you for choosing to watch this video. God bless you and protect you. So this is part two in a new series of short videos I'm doing with the overriding theme being the church and Christianity back to basics. So at this moment in your life, as you're hearing me share these words and share just some of my experiences, you may have had bad experiences in the church. You may have had bad views and bad impressions and feelings about Christianity, about the church. So whether, it, whether it's through personal experiences or through what you've heard or through what you've read or through conversations you've had in your life. And up until two years ago, I, I didn't have faith. I didn't um, really have any thoughts and views, particularly about the church, about Christianity. And um, my life took me to a place where I went from no faith to total faith. So it's been, for me, just less than two years where I've been living in faith. And these short videos, I really hope, are just stripping things back to basics. And hopefully for you, maybe helping to just take away maybe things you've heard or read in the past or maybe some life experiences that you've had which have for some reason potentially just taken you away from having faith and and believing in God and living your life in faith. I do hope that you will receive these words and know and believe that these are coming from my heart and these are coming out of my love for you, for my fellow man and woman because I truly believe that every single one of us deserves to, to know the truth and, and for that truth to be shared in a simpler way as possible without any confusion, without any doubts, without any wrongful messages. Just to know the truth of, of who, who you are as a miracle of God, as a child of God. So this second part, with the first part being what is faith, part two is who is God? So God is the creator of the heaven and the earth. He is the creator of all living things. It's almost too incomprehensible to consider that the world that we live in and everything in the world and you and me that we have been created but this is the truth and God who we call our Father in Heaven God is timeless God is the beginning and the end. God formed you and created you and knitted you together in your mother's womb. You were no accident. God's word says I will never leave you nor forsake you. So even as you're hearing these words now, even if you've lived your life not believing in God in any way, that's okay. That is completely okay. Because even though you may have lived your life with no faith and with no belief in God, he has never left you nor forsaken you. And he will always be with you. And that you are, you, you are the apple of his eye. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. These things are just too incomprehensible to try and get our head around from a human perspective. 
but God has even numbered every hair on your head. God knows what you are going to say before you've even said it. And before the beginning of time, God's plan for your life was for you to be hearing these words now. He meets us wherever we are. And his word says, his promise to us as his children. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. You are so precious in his eyes and I am blessed that you are hearing these words now. I pray now for you that you are receiving these words, these words, this message of truth and that no matter what you have thought or been led to think or believe up until this moment in your life about God and whether there is a God and whether or not God loves you, whatever has gone before it, I just pray now that you know that God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, he loves you, he cares for you, he has a plan for your life and that he will never leave you nor forsake you. And his unfailing love is surrounding you right now, even if you don't think that or you didn't believe that our father in heaven loves you so much more than you could ever possibly comprehend more than any other human can love another human this is our father in heaven's agape love for you and this is his will and his plan for you to be hearing this message now for you to receive this message, for these words to touch your heart and mind, these, these words of truth, this message of love from our Father in heaven to you right now at this moment in your life. If you're watching this and you've been in a really bad, a really dark place, this is our Father in heaven's way of speaking to you right now and saying to you that I am lifting you out of the miry clay and I'm going to put your feet on solid ground and I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I am going to rescue you from wherever you are right now, whatever storm you may be going through. Our Father in heaven is with you and he's going to bring you his salvation, through his mercy, through his grace, through his love for you. And I pray and declare over your life, over your heart and over your mind. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So this is part two of this short, this video series of short videos I'm doing, <clears throat> taking the church and Christianity back to basics. In the description are the titles of all the following videos that I'll be doing, these short video messages. I hope and pray that they will speak to you directly, personally, and that any mis... any any wrong thoughts, any wrong beliefs, any misinterpretations, any fears, any doubts, any, any preconceived thoughts and ideas around faith, around our Father in heaven, about Jesus. I just pray that anything that is wrong, that is not pure, 
will just get broken from you and that you'll be left with just a pure message about our Father in heaven, about Jesus Christ, about faith, about love, about peace. So that you can just quite beautifully, quite beautifully come into relationship with our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. So in the description at the bottom, I've shared a link to a website that I was led to create about two months ago, www.becomebornagain.com. You may be led to go to that website to read some of and watch some of the videos, some of the wisdom that's shared. There are, there are some testimonies. There is links to various worship music. And maybe, just maybe, at this moment in your life, there'll be something on that website whether it is a video or a message, there's a prayer. There may just be something that you need in your life right now. Some more truths that you need in your life to continue on with what I would describe as the renewing of your mind. Because the world that we live in, from when we're born, when we come into this world, there are so many things that want to try and keep us separated from knowing God, from believing in God, from knowing how much God loves us and knowing the truth that he formed us, he created us and he knitted us together. Yes, you, in your mother's womb. And he has gone before you. He is making a way in the wilderness and he will never leave you nor forsake you. This is our Father in heaven. God bless you and protect you. May his face shine upon you always. Agape.